Hello everyone, welcome to Sinister Night. Sleep Sea Fan Mission by Terra. Made for the 1 million units competition. Before we get started, let's read the briefing. Money is getting low and it's about time to get back to the black market. Word in the city has it that deep in the forest is an old abandoned mansion. In this building there's supposed to be several precious things and who knows, maybe even hidden, maybe even there's some sort of rare object hidden there. But I don't want this adventure to be a long episode. That's why I'll leave all my equipment here. All I need is a lantern to light the rooms. Well, it's a full moon, but better safe than sorry. Here we go, Garrett. The gold is waiting. Wait, does that mean I have no equipment at all? Normal hard expert? There should still be some valuables left in this abandoned mansion. Steal at least... 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 loot? Well, if I don't have my equipment, then does it really matter what the difficulty level is? I guess... I guess I try expert and regret it, maybe? We'll see. Seal at least 2,000 loot, and when everything's done, return to your starting point. Wow. Starting off in absolute full brightness for some reason. Even though it looks incredibly dark, that's... weird. You might even say sinister. I have a thieves lantern. And a compass. No sword. No blackjack. No arrows of any kind. Someone says place is haunted. Nonsense. I believe that for a second. Right, so this is going to be... Ooh, the light gem is... I can't read this light gem at all. Like, I can barely see a thing anywhere, and yet the light gem says I'm in significantly bright light. I don't get it. Something very weird with the lighting. Wow, I guess I'm not going to be picking many locks. I mean, it kind of seems to try and function more like a torch than a lantern. Is it really haunted? Mysterious figures just appearing and disappearing. Hello? We have some loot. 24. Oh dear. 2000 is the goal. This is going to be. I feel like this is going to be slow. Uh, yeah, hello guys. Spinny bags, spinny sacks. I hear zombie moans. Is that a trapdoor? The problem with this light system is I can't tell what's probable and what's not easily. I definitely hear a zombie. Lots of mushrooms. I 
have gone upstairs. Could have gone upstairs and not down this way. One hundred and seventy-two. It's like another trap door. The music trying to be spooky, I guess. I don't know what this music is, but I wouldn't be surprised if it. Uh, If YouTube decides it doesn't like it, so we'll find out. Alright, well I guess I'm going upstairs. It wasn't all the way in, right? Let's check the outside. Right, the front gate is closed. Okay, just just being thorough. There's going to be a lot of flickering because of the way that this light is done. Everything's going to be flickering all the time. I'm afraid. What's up with these stairs? These were never func could never have been functional. <laughs> it's like this step comes out. <laughs> Carrot, jump up there, don't. <laughs> I mean, metal don't make noise. It's the fast moving <laughs> creature that I probably don't want to encounter. So, the thing about this torch is if I don't shine it near me, it doesn't actually make me brighter. So, it can be useful. We have a locked door. Do we have to map? I should check now. I'm sure at some point this lantern is going to be uh, causing me getting discovered. I feel like I might as well use it while it's here, right? It's a nice stove with some matches that I can't pick up. Kind of feels a little overly detailed for a dark object. That's high poly models everywhere. Good thing with, with what they're actually doing here. You know what? Let's. Spy on this fella. Where do they go? Cobwebs can make it difficult to see. Right, we'll wait for this fellow to go. Let's go deeper into this place.
I'm wondering if the cobwebs are signifying that they're gonna have spiders in here too. Right, nothing in here. Three hundred loot out of two thousand needed. Uh, okay. Hmm. I guess maybe there's another floor? saw something but they concluded it was nothing. Right, how am I gonna get up here? I guess I can just mantle there maybe? I don't know, the weird fragmented wall makes it wall makes it hard to uh, see. Hello, more blood. Lots of these cupboards everywhere, but they look like this, you know, they've got three big doors that look like this should all be openable, but of course the whole thing is just in that. Which for some reason bothers me more than it really should. Hmm. Oh, there's a little more loot up here. 400 out of 2,000. We appear to have reached the top of the building. So, where's the rest of the loot hiding? Where's the key for that room? What am I missing? Did she something on top of that? No, I did not. <laughs> like, the way this is fragmented is very strange, because, like, the stairway goes up here to nowhere, cause, like, there should have been a doorway into here. This architecture doesn't... It's does not making any sense to me. Oh, there's a possible... Possible place to go there. They <laughs> can't see a damn thing. I feel like I'm gonna fall to my death. No, I can mantle it in there, but it immediately kicks me out. Okay. Let's have a look at our zombie friend. Do so they maybe have a key that we can pickpocket? No. They do not. <laughs> um, so what do I do now? So I can't break the door. It's, I can't pick the lock. I don't have lock picks. I don't have sword or anything.
with the light on, I can't see what I can throw. With the light off, I can barely see anything. So if I'm looking for interactive objects, that's not really a good gameplay system. I guess I didn't check roofs, but like above here would only be the attic, right? So roofs shouldn't matter. This place just has barrels. And the explosive barrel, which is much lower poly, but uh, actually, they're similarly lower poly, these just look better. It definitely feels like if you want a lantern to be an integral mechanic, you really need a different hotkey for it than just frog because it interferes so much with frobbing. Frobbing doors or anything. Oh, hello. There's the key. Question mark, question mark, question mark. No, I know it's a key. Seems to be some sort of library. Some more valuables. It's a book which might be uh, relevant. Where's my Latin? Bookcase which nothing probable on it. Okay. <sighs> Let's read the book. These are my last words before I set off with my surviving guards and servants to escape the disaster that came upon us. It all started with this artifact that the guards found deep in the forest. The sight of this ashen sphere enthroned on a gold base and adorned with diamonds gave the impression that this object was harmless, but the next few days will prove otherwise. Below the property is the dungeon, and also the chamber where we brought the orb to its final resting place before we closed off the area. The more I looked at the orb, the more it pulled me under its spell, as if I were going mad. At night voices called to me, and where did they come from? The knights became more and more restless, until the day the prisoners began to butcher each other. They peeled the skin from their bones and laughed as if it were a pleasure to mutilate themselves. Eventually, the whole wing went totally insane, then it started to echo in the vault, and these creatures came out of the corpses of the inmates. They tore our guards in the wing to pieces. In the meantime, we tried to stop them, by time if possible, to save many servants. But it did not get any easier, since an additional haze shrouded the entire property. Soon, we could no longer see our own people, and the screams got closer and closer. I will now set off with my remaining guards and servants at once. Whosoever is reading this, only death and perdition await here. New objectives. Find the artifact. Okay. 500 loot. We're one quarter of the way to the goal. So now we know about the dungeon. Maybe now we can go... Downstairs. Maybe now we can use those trapdoors. If I can remember where they were, of course. Not this room. Well, 
is one of the trapdoors for sure, but uh, can't throw it. Where was the other one? Not here. Oh, there's books on the floor. Is that what it was? Was it here before? I don't remember. Oh. Where's the other trap door? It's opened itself. That's not... That's not spooky, is it? I'm not getting out the way I came in. That's for sure. Well, if my sense of direction is correct, this is the hallway. This runs under the hallways so up here on the left, should be a way out. Can I walk? Oh, it's running as a torch, I guess. Alright, well, we're gonna need a key. In order to have a way out at all. I really need to see about the uh Just this lantern is just so unpredictable and where it goes it's very uh, frustrating, very fiddly. this thing, shall we? He okay, doesn't know where I am. There's more of them too. Accidental lands an error. Made myself brightly lit. Like I accidentally just shone the torch, you know, held the torch under my chin. That is a body. Possibly not a dead one. I mean, I'm still going to keep playing with the Latin. I mean, it's as clunky as it is, because it's clearly what they intended. these crates again, shall we? <laughs> Ow! Or not? You saw me there, okay. It was not very good. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll... play without the land man since... <laughs> Alright, well, I can sit on top of this fence and I guess lose him that way. I'm here.
I'm completely lost. I guess as long as I'm not near the, the spooky things, it's alright. Another diary. I am guilty of my misdeeds, and yet I do not regret them. The voices will guide me and grant me a new life. My vengeance will soon unfold again as I worship the great god of calamity. May he grant me immortality so that I can continue to satisfy my thirst for blood. Eighty-two loot. I. It just came straight for me, what the hell? As much as I appreciate the effort to try and make a different bit of gameplay here, it doesn't work. Alright, he's lost me. Um I'm not I'm not I'm not fighting it. It works well. Because what happens is, I get a scene, I get chased, I have to sit and hide, and wait, or I just die. Um, I mean, you could say when you're trying to escape, play kind of semi ghostly. I don't understand why he walked right into me. Maybe his patrol just happened to be all the way up that whole way, and that was just bad luck on my part. Hello. Where is this room here? Oh, that's not the room I've been in. I guess the idea is that I should really just be... ...extremely patient and careful to avoid them. Is this the room? Yes, with the diary I not read. I'm starting to pull the skin off my face piece by piece. I don't feel anything, the pain is gone. I feel my blood boiling inside and my veins swelling more and more. The time will soon come and I'll be released. You heard nothing. He's got a key.
I didn't commit any crime, and I'm being held unlawfully in a cell. The man caught fire through no fault of mine. My hands are free of blood. I wish I were far away from this place. It's impossible to sleep here at night. My mind is not clear anymore. I begin to hear voices. They come from the passages. What the hell is going on here? Very good question. Alright. Where was that locked door? This one. That's it. Right now, this is where I found the crowbar in here. Oh, the locked door was on the way out. Just down here. That's right. Okay. to illuminate yourself, carrot. Keeper. What is going to be terrible in this mission is if I uh, don't make the loot go. I have to go back to hunt for loot. Oh, there is one of them. I don't know, but uh, this is just, this is just broken. Because now I have nothing to do, nothing I can do to just run and hide back here at the start. Oh well, I guess that's what I do. came from. He seemed to maybe he spawned beside me. Also this music is so loud I can't hear listening for faint vomit zombie sounds and not not hearing them.
Because you're trolling me, why is that? I'll move that some now. So, does he going up into that room, or did he just happen to see me, or what? I thought he just went left and right. I have not been round to the left. While it's searching, don't know when it came through a door, which door? That's weird. So that's the guy we saw first. I can feel it, I can feel it, she speaks to me, wants my body, my soul. Oh please, you creature, take what you want and release me from my mortal hell. Uh, God, those mushrooms are very bright. So does he go around in a circle around this place? Uh. Seems so. Oh god, he's... How did he, how did he fucking see me? It was dark. the diary. So I guess I just run. Hit the dead end. Ridiculously bright. Why is it so bright in here? Yellow, but everything's almost pitch black. All right, hello, guys. All right, this is a problem. Have sufficient loot. Hello, this is an entirely new area. Um, I have the ore. I don't know where I am, I'm lost, that's a problem. Well, 1,992 loot, that's one more piece of loot, and we should be done. But where? Uh. Well, what about being lit by? Is 
This is like the brightest dark mission ever. He just seems to be idling there. Just leave him to it. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, we're right here. Oh, so that's the guy that saw me before when I was up there, I see. Objectives. Everybody's done returning to your starting point. Alright, thank you. Wait, how do I return to my starting point? I need a way out. I didn't find a way out. So there's supposed to be another trapdoor down this way, but I don't think there actually is. Can't go back in the way I came in. Back up that way. The other trap door was like above here to the left, but there's no place there. How do we get out? I mean, the answer like, surely can't be go deeper to get to get back out. It's, it doesn't make any sense. But also... Where else can I go? Some valuable loot I missed. There's the old dudes. The other guy seems to have lost. He seems to have lost the other two. Luckily, they're pretty brainless. So where's the way out? Maybe just back here somewhere and I missed it. What I need to do is get back upstairs. Somehow.
Maybe there's a trapdoor up here and didn't notice it. Seems like the answer's no, and now, of course, we've got to wait for this guy to come back. Okay, he does, but patrol to the very end of the corridor, so it wasn't like he knew where I was. It was just very bad luck on my part to hide in the place he was already going. Very poor choice of where to go. Were there crates I could pick up and stack? I don't remember seeing crates I could pick up, but... No, they were just the big crates. Well, you know what? I think we're gonna have to look this up. So, I uh, loaded the map up in Dromed so I could search around without these things chasing me and with a little more light to try and get an idea for what it was I was missing. It doesn't help that I've forgotten the way downstairs. Chased by this guy, okay. <laughs> it's downstairs this way? Oh, that was a dead end, it's a crowbar. Where was the way downstairs? Of course, this way. Through the locked door. Yeah, 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 okay. Right. So we'll leave those fine fellows up there alone. And, uh... What I'm missing... is down this direction. Stackable crates. Well, they're not stackable for the sake of uh, 
stack them in the stack of all for the sake of finding this little tunnel that I completely failed to see. And this is the other trapdoor. away and I forget. Down here to the left? I guess. Yes, this is the way in. Alright, back to the start. Job done, alright. Sinister mansion looted in the sinister night. We found... Ooh, all but one piece of loot. Okay, that actually turned out better than I was expecting. I was thinking that loot to hunt would be uh, extremely difficult, but it wasn't. Apart from those first few coins being very low value, everything was actually pretty easy to find. Although in the dark, it would be, it was easy to miss, and I even missed up enormous gold statues the first time around. All right, well, that was a sinister night. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you here for the next mission.